Oh yeah, it is update time. Hey guys, it's Trevor Laird here and welcome back to the garage. Now I know due to the COVID-19 situation, I have not really had the time or the ability to record the videos that I really wanted to for this coming month. So we had a little bit of a delay, but I'm really happy to come back to you guys with this nice new update that's coming down the pipe. Now I've heard the updates good, but I've made sure not to read any of the details because I wanna actually have a realistic reaction to them and explain to you guys what they're about from my perspective after I get this download done. So I'm gonna download the new update for the Model 3 performance right now, and then we'll see what it's all about. Okay guys, we are all done with the update. Lots of crazy noises as per usual. Now let's take a look at what this is all about and if we got any new features. Okay, so the first thing that I notice here, if you guys can see, is the little sentry icon that used to be the HAL I is now kind of like this little, almost like a sun shape with a red dot at the center of it. So that is definitely new. And let's go into the release notes now. Again, the guys, this is 2020 12 5. And for the release notes. Okay, so first thing it's going to show us here is there is a dash cam viewer. I've been waiting for, for this for a really long time. The ability to look at the dash cam footage in the car to review it off the USB stick instead of having to grab the USB stick and go into my house and watch it on the TV and the, or on the PC and then delete it. You can actually do that from within the car now as long as you are in uh, park. And it does show as well that it's sorted by dash cam and uh, century footage. So that's, that's pretty cool. We'll take a look at that. Uh, and then out of order uh, supercharger stalls, that's pretty good. It actually shows which ones are out of order so you don't get confused and go to a station that actually doesn't have any available. Now, it does say here at the bottom, okay, this release contains minor improvements and bug fixes. Sometimes I find that some of the biggest updates that happen with these are the little things that are updated on autopilot and that will test that performance uh, and see if uh, we're doing any better with that. But first, let's look at this dash cam viewer. So you go there, you can see it says right now, save footage or launch viewer. So we'll launch the viewer. And okay, it's got a video of inside my garage. Let's go over to Century and see if we have anything interesting there. Um, looking for something, okay, parking lot. Okay, so there we go. So we have footage showing uh, in the front. We can review it from each of the cameras. Oh, this lady almost hitting my car with her bags. <laughs> uh, we've got the rear, we've got the front. So we can actually review this footage. We can toss it or we can earmark it for uh, later saves. So that's good that we can really quickly look through our Sentry data. And what this means, guys, if you're parked at a store, uh, you're going to be able to, and it says a Sentry mode occurred, you can go into that right away and see if it's something you want to save. So going forward, we could basically only save the good stuff and delete anything that's uh, garbage or not required. Now that is pretty cool. I love the ability of the dash cam there, but let's take the car for a drive and see if those autopilot updates that I saw it doing at the beginning actually have an effect. Now I have one uh, corner that's on a hill, okay, in my town that I kind of use as a benchmark to see how the autopilot is doing to see if it's improved because the car has had a lot of trouble with this particular corner. And now we're gonna have the opportunity to see if maybe there's some little fixes in there that make it a little bit better. And it seems to be a great test with every update to see if uh, if the autopilot is getting better. So let's take a drive right now and give that a shot. So what we'll do on this corner is we'll test again to see if there's some hidden autopilot updates here making the system more and more refined, which is my suspicion that it is. Now, the last time I tried this, it did fail again at 50 kilometers, 55 kilometers an hour. So that's exactly what we're gonna set it at here. We'll get, there we go. Speed sets, autopilot is on. We have engaged and our enemy, this corner <laughs> is up ahead of us. Now you guys will probably see it there uh, a little bit easier on the GoPro. Um, and uh, I'm probably in the corner on here. So, okay, you guys can see this is a really tight bend with oncoming traffic, 50 kilometers an hour. Let's see what happens. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, oh, it's got it, it's got it. Wow, okay. So it slowed down on that bend there. It really came down, it slowed down tight. This is what they don't tell you. They are improving every feature of this car 
even if it's not in the release notes. And I think that's well noting. And that really demonstrated it there. And next thing I think I'm gonna have to do is try it at 60 kilometers an hour and see if it has the same performance. Okay, here we are getting back onto the street with our corner and I'm realizing I'm gonna have to speed up really fast to get to 60, but that's okay because we have a Model 3 performance and done. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna have to give it a second here to orientate. Okay, it's got it. Let's go. Let's see how our corner does at 60 kilometers an hour. Now again, it, it did it at 50, no problem. It's asking me just to keep my hand on the wheel. Okay, let's see here. Hard corner. Okay. Yeah, it drifted a little bit into the other lane, but it did have it 10 times better, guys. Before it was showing me that emergency grab the wheel. It's uh, yeah, huge improvement. Vast, vast, vast improvement there. Well guys, very interesting update. If you're down in the States and you watch my channel and you're wondering why there's some variations uh, between the Canadian updates and the US ones, basically what I've discovered is they kind of nerfed the Canadian ones a little bit by two weeks where we'll get some of the features. And then within a few weeks, once our transport agency, Transport Canada approves them, then we'll get the rest. So I'm sure there's more stuff coming down the pipe, but very interesting to see the dash cam viewer um, some of the new symbology updates and the hidden updates, which uh, are to autopilot by my testing anyways, show that autopilot is improving drastically. So very cool. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and uh, feel free to share these videos. I'll see you soon.